My name is Dr. Lori and this is my little dog Tango and I'm going to share with you a little bit about my new program, How Your Dog Can Help Your Child Read, Lead and Succeed. So a lot of people ask me, how does this program work? What do you mean reading with a dog? Well it's really cool because you know a lot of children really struggle with reading and they find reading difficult but the concept of reading to your family dog gives children an opportunity to read maybe for the first time in their lives to truly a non-judgmental audience. Your dog doesn't care if your child makes a mistake. And the beautiful part of this is this is the one time perhaps in your child's life also when they get to be empowered to be the teacher. So many kids, you know, when they're seven or eight years old, they just don't get a chance to be the teacher for anybody else because they're the little ones. But dogs give children a very unique opportunity. So let me show you how this works. For example, when you're reading to your child or reading with your child, here's a great book called Three Stories You Can Read to Your Dog. Tango, do you want to read this book with me? Yeah? A little bit? So when you're reading with your child and your child gets stuck on a word, the cool thing is you can say to your child, you know what? I don't think Tango knows that word either. Do you think maybe we could teach it to her together? Now suddenly, you and your, your child are team teachers for your dog. And your child will always know more, so it's pretty exciting for your child. So if, for example, the word is creative, here's an example of a word that you might get stuck on or your child might get stuck on. You write it down on a piece of paper, and here's the word right here, and then that word gets added to your child and your dog's Tricky Trouble Words Bag. So this is Tango's Tricky Trouble Words Doggy Bag. So we add these words to the bag. We usually have no more than 10 words in the bag at a time. And then every night when we practice our reading, if we read for about 20 minutes every night, that's what I would recommend, you take out your Tricky Trouble Words bag first, and you, your child, and your dog practice the words. Now if your child gets the word lickety split, like no problem at all, then you get to put a check mark beside the word. Once you've done that three nights in a row, the child, the child has gotten this word three times, no problem at all, then they get to add the word, they take it out of the bag, and they get to add it onto their I'm doggone brilliant board. Now this board is really cool because it helps children to start to see their successes, all of the different things that they've learned. These, this charts all of the words that they've learned, but there are so many other things that they learn in the program that they also get to, sh to showcase on their I'm doggone brilliant boards. So that gets added onto there. The cool thing is though, when they're working on these words, they have a whole list of strategies that they've learned. That This is a bookmark called When My Dog Gets Stuck in a Word, I Can Help. And so we use all of these strategies to help the children, to help their dog, to learn the words. Now we all know that the children are going to learn more than the dog will. But it's an amazing opportunity, especially for young children, who have one foot permanently placed in reality and the other foot in imagination, to think about, hmm, what could happen here? Could I possibly teach my dog? It's a really exciting way to spend your reading time with your child and a great opportunity for your whole family to bond. Thanks very much for spending this time with us, and I'll talk to you again soon.